Hello everybody, and welcome to another Satellawave tutorial. Since the last time I made one of these, Satellawave has updated to version 0.3. There has also been a bug fix version of SNES 9X that has been put up on my Discord. So, I'm going to show you what that bug fix does. Alright, so here we have a directory. I am going to make something download. So let's set this to download. Let's set the building to the broadcast station. I'm gonna leave a message. All right. Now, the test the download, I think what I'm gonna try is a ROM dump that popped up fairly recently. So, I'm going to try friggin' powered level 3. I'm going to set it to these settings because it's a full game and I always like having the option to boot up or not boot up. Alright. So... I'm also going to set this on because it's also new. I'm going to set Mr. Money to be here. Also, I'm going to show how to open shops that sell in-game items. It's very simple, actually. These, they're some, basically on a Satala Wave, some of these are specifically labeled shop. So you just set those as shop, leave a message, any message, it, and... It's basic. That's basically it. And the things that are compatible with that currently are the beach house, the convenience center, and the sewerage. The sewerage is actually a sewer hole that you go into, but you only really notice it when it's enabled. Anyway, let's export this. Oh. Let's set this to SFX only, since we have a... Winamp playlist going again. Alright. So, with that out of the way, let's open up... Yeah, let's open up that new SNES 9X. Apologies for it taking a bit. First, let me show you those shops, since they opened. Here's the things you can buy from the convenience store. The telephone card's useful, the transfer device might be useful, the fishing rod is useful, the rest of this stuff is just gag items, as far as I can tell. Here's the sewer. The secret club card, I think, has a use that is pretty contextual to the time. I'm not so sure about the others.
And the beach house here... Yeah, that I think those are all gag items as well, but I can't really tell. Anyway, let's go to the broadcast station. Now let's try downloading Spriggan Powered. Since this is SNES 9X, I could theoretically just fast forward through this. But, I feel like leaving it as it is is part of the authentic experience. <laughs> so here's the prompt that lets me know I can boot it up. It's not translated yet. Oops! Alright, so this is Brigand Powered. You may remember that I played this ROM a bit back earlier on YouTube or the Twitch. It has these uh, menus and whatnot. And this is a nice pick that I did it too, because it's short, and yet it gives you a good idea of the Satoshi Sound Link experience, since I'm playing a completely unrelated song in the background! Alright, let me stop playing this one for now. So you're probably wondering, so you put in a Satoviu ROM, what else could you possibly put in? And I'll answer that right now with something I edited in last at a yet <clears throat> something I edited a bit last night. So let's go set a download at the Tofu Hall. So, let me think. Which one of these is a good example? Oh yes, this one. Uh, this is practically obligatory. There we go, and with that export, let's reset. Tofu House has a door now. Now I'm gonna show you fast forwarding for the download. Yes. This. 
Now, obviously, since this was a retail game originally, there had to be some tweaking done to get this to run. But, yeah! Alright, enough of that. Let's try setting one more thing up to download. Actually, I should set one more thing, too. After that one, though. To show you a bit of a something different that you may have to do for certain ROMs. Let's throw in a good retail game, Miss Pac-Man. And have that set to boot up from PS RAM. There we go. Let's go into town, and then let's export. Then when I do the export, one thing this does now is that it updates it in real time. As soon as the files are replaced in SAT data, boom. All right, so let's download this one. Now you can tell the game knows the download sizes of these, so if it downloads fast, it downloads fast. Boom! Hmm. Hold on. I think I screwed that one up somehow. Maybe that one also needed to be in PS RAM. Let's see. I know sometimes I forget things while I do things, so let's see. Reception error again. Hmm. Must be something screwed up on my end. I had that working on my other thing the other night. Let's see. That one also reception errored? Is there some. No, those were both working. Hold on. Those were both. Maybe I can't have them both in the same place at once? I don't know. Hold on, let's delete one. Uh, go fig, I'm f discovering weird oddities even as I... Even as I do this stuff meant for tutorial purposes. Anyway. Error 21. The ROMs are fine. Let's see.
Let's try auto start no. I had these working on my other setup the other night, and I'm not sure what's different. Hmm. Available at home, maybe? Actually, give me a moment. Let me clear out the sat data. Maybe that's getting in the way. Maybe all the other sat data is getting in the way. Sometimes you do need to just delete everything in the sat data directory and start it fresh. We noticed that data directory was basically cleared. There we go. It booted this time. Yeah, sometimes you just need to clear out the sat data directory and do it over. So yeah, that booted up Classic Kong, if you're familiar with this bit of homebrew. And since Classic Kong's a somewhat small ROM, it can fit entirely in the Satellaview's, uh, the BSX card's PS RAM, so... So it doesn't download two to memory pack. I mean, frankly, you could have it downloaded to the memory pack, but yeah. All right, let's let's get Miss Pac-Man back up there because we need an obligatory Legion retail game. Uh, one moment. Here we go. I'm not entirely sure what saves the WRAM. Maybe it's from the magazine stuff, I don't know. There we go, and reset. Now, Miss Pac-Man should be back at the broadcast station. No, no, I mean the tofu place, not the broadcast station. Tofu Hall. There we go. Fast forward. There we go. Okay, now we got Miss Pac-Man up here. This is good old Williams Entertainment Digital Eclipse Miss Pac-Man. Except with this pack booster that trivializes all the difficulty. Anyway, that's about it for this tutorial for today. Thank you for watching.